Today we are making a super quick lunch ideas. ABC pinwheels, which is avocado, bacon, and cheese. Super fast, really quick. And if last night you had taco night and have half an avocado in your fridge and you're like, ah, this is what you're gonna do for lunch. So I have a tortilla, this is a serving for one, but you can make as many as you want. Quarter of an avocado, I just cut off the other ends that kind of got brown in the fridge. You know, that happens, we all have, we're all well intended to use them up, we never do. So this is how. I have a little bowl with a little bit of mayo and I'm gonna take that avocado from last night and just put it right in there. So we're making a quick avocado paste. Now if you don't wanna use mayo, you could use uh, extra avocado and mash all of that up, but I only have just a little bit of avocado left over. And honestly, sometimes we all need like cold lunch ideas that don't have to be warmed up, whether it's for the kids or ourselves, for the office or to eat at home. Um, knowing how to use up leftovers is a great, it's always good, so less food goes to waste. And check it out. So we have a delicious avocado mixture and a tortilla. And we need a, it's always good to have like the right tools around. So, spoon. So I'm just simply going to take this avocado mixture right into my tortilla. And then with the back of the spoon, I'm going to spread it. This is gonna be the sticky part, like kind of if you make a peanut butter and jelly, the peanut butter is sticky. This is what is going to hold the bacon and cheese so you can roll it up and slice it into pinwheels. To my tortilla, I have some bacon that I chopped up. So I'm just going to sprinkle it right over the top. Now the reason I chopped it up small instead of putting the two strips of bacon is that when I roll this up and slice it into pinwheels, it's kind of sometimes hard to slice through the bacon. So it's a lot easier if you just cook the bacon and chop it up. Now on Sundays when I cook bacon, sometimes I'll cook an entire pound of bacon and save a couple extra slides. Like literally I have to hide them from my husband and the kids. When it cools down, I like hide them in the back of the fridge and use four lunches for that reason because otherwise they don't last. I don't know, does bacon last at your house? It doesn't often last at my house. So here I have white cheddar, but you could use uh, Colby or Jack, like whatever cheese you really enjoy. And I just like to put a bit of that sharp cheddar is a really great combination with the avocado and the bacon. It's gonna taste delicious. So like all pinwheels, it's kind of similar to rolling up a burrito, but not. You do want to start from one end and tuck it and roll it over. So these are, by the way, large burrito size tortillas, but they, these are flour tortillas, but you can use gluten-free tortillas um, as well, or smaller if you have smaller appetites. So we're just going to tuck it in right here and fold it over and roll it in. That's why it's super important to distribute your ingredients throughout. So every single pinwheel gets a bite of all, all of it, honestly. So, and at the very end, I also like to not put ingredients or fillings at the end. And if you have a little extra in your bowl or the back of the spoon, stick it at the very edge. So when you finish that, that'll hold it up like the glue. And there you have it. You can actually make these ahead of time. Stick it, make a couple. If you have a lot of kids or like sometimes for a few of you in the family, you could make these just like that and stick it in a gallon size Ziploc bag, put it in the refrigerator as is, don't cut it, don't slice it. And then in the morning, you're gonna take it out of the Ziploc bag and that's when you'll slice it into pinwheels and pack it up for lunch. So how I like to slice is right through the middle. I always start it in the middle. And now if you don't wanna slice it into bite-sized pieces, that's cool, you can just pack them like this as wraps, no problem. But as you can see, check it out. The bacon, the avocado and the cheese, it's all in there. You know what, better yet, let me show you how I pack this. Something else that I do the night before is grab the lunchbox and fill it with the sides and everything. So if you've made all of these before, you don't have to slice them. You can, again, put them in a zip bag. So you can't really put in the fruit or veggies that you're gonna serve with the lunch, have that ready to go. So in the morning, all you have to do is slice these guys and 
put them in a lunchbox. Now, how thick should pinwheels be? They should be, well, about maybe almost an inch or so. Honestly, bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna take our knife and just slice it right through and put it in the lunchbox. And there you have it, guys. Check them out. Little awesome bite-sized pieces that you can serve for lunch, at home, at school, at the office. So good. Mmm, delicious. And hold. If you enjoyed videos like this, make sure you click that red subscribe button. See you next time.